Hey guys, today I am going to dictate a transcription of 80 words per minute. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button. Start in 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Start. The Kerala Factory Owners Association organized a meeting with Sri K. Menon, Chairman, Kerala State Electricity Board on 13th August 1972. A list of those who participated in the meeting is given in the annexure. At the outest, the chairman, Kerala Affairs Committee, referred to the industry's concern regarding power supply position. In the state and welcomed this opportunity of a first-hand appraisal of the situation from chairman, Kerala State Electricity Board. He mentioned that the uncertainty about the power availability would have a serious impact on future economic development of the state and it was therefore necessary to have clear long of the state and it was the secretary of the chamber also mentioned that they are organizing a conference on future outlook for power on 20th September 1972 in New Delhi. He requested all the members present to attend the said conference. Sri Menon thanked the association for providing him with this opportunity of discussion with businessmen from the state. He observed that fortunately they were meeting on comparatively less tense atmosphere as there has been slight improvement in the water inflow from the famous state dam during the past three to four days. He was hopeful that this trend would continue and therefore the state would not be faced with the power shortage as had been decided only a few days back to impose another 40% power cut. The situation will now improve. Sri Menon referred to the various steps the board has taken to improve the power availability and for increasing the load carrying capacity of the system as a whole. In the long term perspective, the referred to the various schemes the board has taken on hand in this connection. He told the members that their schemes would add 3 lakhs units by end of 1972 and a further 3 lakh units by June 1973. Some power will be available from outside sources for Kerala keeping in view the huge industrial and agricultural set up in the state. He hoped that Kerala would be able to get about 3 lakh units per day from the total of 13 lakh units produced per day. To sum up, the position will considerably improve very shortly and probably all future power cuts may be stopped as far as the 
Kerala state is concerned. According to the board's calculations, it would be able to meet full requirements of Kerala state from June onwards. This, however, depends on the flow of water, but he was of the opinion that this summit, the position will be much better as compared to the previous years. He, however, warned that if water situation does not improve, a slight restriction may be necessary in power supply till end of November. Position beyond December would get clear only after the water position improves in any case position in the last 20 days. In December would be rather critical as at that time the requirement would be 7 million units and the availability around 6 million units per day. There is a possibility of a cut of 17% during December and about 5% cut in January, February 1973. Now the question before the board is whether it should continue to sanction new connections till position improves or may allow about 10% of the new connections and imposing cut on all customers which would then increase from 5% to 15% during January, February. He observed that as on 31st March 1972, the backlog was 453799KW and if the board was to connect new connections of say 130KW, it would be just meeting 30% of the backlog.